Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video we're going to be setting up SSH so that we can connect to our virtual servers here uh, without using a password. So right now I could do an SSH to the root at netserve and just enter it in and I'm connected to that netserve machine. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a RSA key on this admin machine. We're going to copy that key over to the NetServe and AuthServe machines and then once that's done uh, we'll, we won't need the password to connect. So if you're doing server administration and you're going to be most likely connecting via SSH, uh, not having to put in a password every single server that you connect to is uh, comes in handy. So it's pretty useful. Uh, so we'll get started and I'll walk you through it as I go. First thing we're going to do is uh, SSH-keygen and keep in mind I'm not root here so uh, it should go through but like I said this is an admin machine and I don't really want to be working as root on this machine here so SSH keygen it should walk us through and uh, dot SSH in the home directory and the ID, uh, the ID underscore RSA that's uh, where the file is going to be just keep it and uh, empty for no passphrase the whole point is not uh, you know not having to remember something like that just enter again okay there you go fingerprints there we're good to go Next thing we need to do, we need to go ssh-copy-id, and now you need to copy that ID to the user and machine that you're going to be connecting to. So I'm going to say root at netserve. Uh, remember I have DNS set up on these machines so I don't need to put in an IP address. So I have earlier videos on that if you want to check that out. ssh-copy-id root at netserve. Okay, and we're going to go enter in that password. Okay and let's see now trying to log in the machine with SSH authorized keys and make sure we haven't added extra keys that you weren't expecting okay so now let's go uh, SSH root at netserve there you go you see what just happened there uh, if you look the uh, the machine the host name changed from admin to netserve so we are on the uh, NetServe machine, so let's do an ifconfig, okay, 172.20.02, alright, and let's just ping uh, admin, and we should be able to do that right there, okay, so you see the ping is going to 172.20.040, alright, so that's easy, uh, that's it right there, easy, simple, and let's just exit, okay, clear it again, and I'll just do it one more time, so we'll go ssh root at NetServe. And there you go. No password. We're connected to NetServe. So, like I said, server administration, that really comes in handy. One thing I can show you on the NetServe machine here is, let's, uh, I'm already in the SSH, SSH uh, directory here. It's just Etsy SSH. So let's just ls and we can go sshd underscore config. Let's just check that out real quick. All right. And one thing we can do is we can go down to, well, let's just search permit root login. Okay, permit root login right now is yes. That means that we have a key and we can connect like you just saw with that admin machine. We just connected via the key without using a password. We could also, right here, we could put without password. Okay, and then you'd have to uncomment that line right there. All right. So what this would do, I'm just going to comment it back because uh, just demonstration purposes. But if you did that, say uncomment permit root login and then you put without password, that would mean that the only way that this machine can be connected to is via that key that we set up on admin. So it's uh, another layer of security for that. Okay. So I'm just going to get out of that. Uh, remember though, you got to take out that hash mark because that's a comment. Okay. So we're good there and. Uh, Let's go now to the, let's try to do it on the uh, auth serve machine, okay? And we'll see if we do it and if there's a problem. Remember, we already created that SSH key, uh, that RSA key with that SSH key gen. So we're not going to do that again because you don't only need the one key. What we're going to do now is we're going to go SSH copy ID and we're going to go root at auth serve. We'll see what happens. Connection refused. What is the problem? Okay, so the NetServe machine was all fully set up for all. The uh, SSH daemon was running, and it was good to go. Well, now there's a problem. So let's go to AuthServe, see if we can fix that problem. Uh, it might be 
very uh, pretty common to run across something like this. So SSH connection refused, first thing, service SSH D status. See if the SSH daemon is running, and it's not. Let's do a check config. Oh, and we're going to say level or list. And let's just grep SSHD. Okay, so if you look right there, the run levels for level 3 is on the SSH daemon. So it's just been shut off. It is persistent. So all we need to do to get this back up and running is go service SSHD start. There we go. Now we should be able to go back to admin and let's just do it again. See what happens. Okay. So uh, just making sure that the uh, fingerprint is, you know, making sure the same machine is connecting there. Yes, we want to do that. Okay, put in the password one time. All right, now let's go SSH root at auth serve. All right, and there we go. See that? So it changed the host name changed to auth serve right there. So I am on the auth serve machine. Let's ping admin and we are good to go right there okay so that does come in handy it, it is pretty useful not having to enter in the passwords all the time when you're connecting to your virtual servers like that so uh, the other option remember like I said is the permit root login without password and that would be in the sshd underscore config file okay let's uh, ls okay sshd underscore config would be right there so that way if you did that permit root login only the key would be able to uh, would be able to access that server. So, uh, like I said, did a little troubleshooting and uh, moved those keys over, and uh, we're good to go. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So stay tuned for future videos.